Hello everyone and welcome to the flight test of the JJRC JJ Pro Hex model. Uh, I had some issues with it and I have delayed the flight test because I did not have a 5 GHz wireless mobile phone. I could not use the original camera and I didn't have FPV and I did uh, bought a new phone which has 5 GHz but it was sadness actually the camera will not work uh, absolutely at all I have tried anything possible and it will not connect to my mobile phone so I do have 5 GHz now but the camera will not work so I consider that to be uh, currently faulty I'm going to do some other tests but I have delayed the flight test too much so I'm considering that not working and uh, to get some footage from the quadcopter to see how it flies I have installed my trusty 1PA X2000 with gyro image stabilization. This is a very nice camera and it's a nice combo for this quadcopter. You can connect the USB port here to a small FPV trans transmitter and you can have real FPV, not Wi-Fi FPV. So I have uh, built myself here a launch pad for the quadcopter because the camera is sticking down. I am going to start this on. Camera is on. I'm going to also start the transmitter first and the quadcopter. Now I'm going to do the calibration for the compass and you need to hold the uh, sticks like that for a few seconds. And there it goes, it has a green light there. And now I'm going to rotate this until the green light stops. I don't know if you can see the green light there on top of the quadcopter. The green light is now off and I need to put the quadcopter with the face up and rotate it that way. It has a blue light and I think that the blue light will extinguish itself. Yes, it did. And that means that now uh, the compass is calibrated properly has a red light because it doesn't have any kind of GPS satellites now and I'm going to start the camera to record and now we are having video recording and the camera sits very nice there so let me see we have zero satellites I'm in GPS position mode and I'm going to wait for it to get some uh, satellites until then I'm going to select low rates telemetry doesn't display anything now it's all zero because there are still no satellites I'm going to wait for it at least battery shows full so the quadcopter transmits information Let's see, will it allow me to arm the motors just for a test? Nope, it will not allow me. And if I switch to attitude mode, it still doesn't allow me. So I think that it's still in some kind of compass calibration. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to recycle the transmitter, turn the quadcopter back on. Right, so I'm going to put it into compass calibration again. I'm going to hold this like that. All right, we have green light, so I'm going to rotate it. It's now still keeping the green light and the green light has extinguished it has turned to blue so now it goes that way and it's now red again So 
so still no satellites oh there's a miracle four satellites so we are getting somewhere now it's steady red because probably it detected that it has a low number of satellites so I'm still going to wait for it also you must need to know that temperature has an influence uh, for the GPS some GPS antennas are actually heated and they need to have uh, temperature working temperature for it to function properly at least this was some older technology I don't know what kind of GPS this thing uses now but at least I have four satellites will it let me arm or not let's see I'm going to do a quick test mm, nope it will not allow me because it doesn't have a GPS lock I'm going to step a bit away maybe I'm influencing it and it's finally okay and it still has eight satellites and position hold at least works very nice I'm just going to let it hover there a bit and now it's slowly drifting and getting back into position somehow oh, it's not the perfect position hold let's see if I switch it into attitude mode alright so it's going in the way of the wind and if I flick it back into GPS mode nope it will not work so it will not go into GPS mode probably I need to land it and then take off again so I'm going to try to land it on one of the front holes in the snow right at least I did land perfectly on the camera and the camera has shut down so I'm going to turn the camera back on camera is back on and it's now recording and now I'm going to cycle it from attitude back into GPS position hold and try that again I still have eight satellites and I don't think it's in GPS position hold let's see does it hold position or does it not hold position well it kind of holds position but it's also doing a bit of toilet bowl effect I think oh it's going in that direction and it's somewhere over there it's not that stable but it does position hold not very pleased with that it even has nine satellites now and it seems to with all these nine satellites uh, it seems that it holds position a bit better at least it flies nicely it is brushless and I'm on low rates now and this thing is fast but 
that GPS position hold is crazy because if you go with speed and just take your uh, fingers off the control sticks it will go a lot of way more than when you stop that and then it will try to come back a look at that so I'm accelerating full tilt I'm letting go of the sticks and it's still going and still going and still going and now it's breaking and now it's entering position hold and it's going a bit back to try to get to a place where I have taken my fingers off but it's nowhere there so GPS positioning is not great and when you want to brake you need to brake actually manually stop it and when it's steady then it will lock into not very smart and of course I'm also flying this line of sight because the FPV doesn't want to work on it but with all that kind of issues I still like the way it handles it's rather acrobatic you can do some crazy stuff with it and now I'm on uh, low rates so I'm going to switch to high rates and nope that was actually high rates and now I'm on low rates on low rates it's definitely a smooth flyer let's chase that flock of birds come on here so it's flying nicely better than expected too bad that the position hold is not that well implemented or not that good working I do have 11 satellites now and it's still doing that uh, let me try to get a position hold but I'm going to try to do that maybe later and now I'm holding and now I'm taking a break at holding and slowly drifting away at least the uh, kind of uh, toilet bowl effect has stopped and it's not doing that anymore it only drifts a bit from time to time At least I have some footage from uh, Iwanpa with all this snow. Man, I really like how it flies. You can consider this more of a attitude flyer than a GPS position hold drone. And probably it works very nice with an FPV camera with proper FPV. It's interesting that the battery level has already dropped to 33% and at 20% it will trigger uh, automatic return to home which currently I really do not want because I have taken off under this tree so this thing could actually go up hit the tree and then fall down to ground considering that it has safely returned to home which I really, really do not want. I'm going to try to do a few more passes with it. Now that it's still in the air and still flying, I have to watch over those trees. And yep, it's 90%. It's going up because it's returning to home and that is really stupid because it has a predetermined height and instead of landing it's currently going up up and away 
Well, I've got some control over it and I'm going to land this as fast as I can because it was not only over that tree but it was also maybe going over the the building and it's going there again so return to home is buggy as hell on this quadcopter and it's simply there damn it I need to somehow land this between the trees it does allow me a bit of control look at that I hope that you have seen it through the branches and it doesn't allow me to land more fast than that it's just landing by itself and I only have your control and limited uh, left right control and it has landed and turned off the motors so yes another bug and it has stopped the camera while it has landed because it has pressed on the button here so I'm going to shut down the camera hopefully I got that footage from it but damn this is way more buggier than I have wanted it to be so beware of that never take off under trees this is my fault not the quadcopters fault but I even try to uh, put it in attitude mode and it simply attitude mode simply did not work and I had no control I have just uh, needed to let it land automatically because the battery is low uh, it does allow a bit of left right forward backward movement but if you go too far from the takeoff point then it will try to go back to the same point and then land again so very caution about this very cautionate about that because it's simply a problem generator in some cases so I'm going to shut this off so this was it so I'm seeing too, too many souls I know I'm not very pleased with it camera did not work changed to a second mobile phone camera did not work and it's still not working position hold is a bit a bit more buggy and return to home really takes your control off and you are not allowed to do many corrections and you can hit something when it returns so you need a very large open field when you take off because with the precision of the position hold and with that automated landing you can hit something even if it's 10 meter away uh, it can consider that he's had to cough near that tree over there and hit a branch when it's uh, automatically uh, getting down from the air so there you go this was the JJ Pro and this was its uh, flight test at least I do hope that you have my enjoyed my video and uh, I'm going to upload more tests soon until then bye bye